Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Tony Lalita Loca, and I'm here to give you a, a real-time demo of the Princess app that you use on Princess Cruises. Uh, it's not necessarily an app, it's a mobile web page, so you access it through your browser on your mobile phone. Uh, so I'm going to show you how that looks. Uh, and this is live. Uh, this is our last day on our Caribbean Princess Cruise to the Western Caribbean. Uh, we are uh, on the sea day. It's about 11.30, so we're about halfway through the sea day, sadly. Uh, but let me show you. So uh, on your iPhone, you want to go to Safari, which is the app here. And I'm going to start my recording. Basically, you type in uh, Princess at Sea and it will come right up. You connect to their Wi-Fi. Uh, they give you a sheet that shows you exactly where to go. Uh, I'll put the web address below. But once you go there, it takes a little minute, uh, you're brought to this page and I'm gonna put the phone up uh, beside me here so that you can see it. Uh, so this is the main page. Uh, there's a couple key spots in the top left there. Uh, the account section has some good information. Uh, and then the, the bottom row of icons at the bottom, the home uh, icon, events, messenger, internet, and more. Uh, we will go through all of those. All right, so starting with the account, uh, we use the internet this week. So the internet, the way it works, the paid internet, it's by the minute, and you can share it. So uh, you both have to create, I created a username, Jenny created a username, and so you'll see this is logged in as Jenny so that I can use the internet. And then uh, my contacts, those are all the people that you want to message. Uh, you'll notice that uh, under Jenny's account, I am her contact. Where it's the only one. When you hit Cruise Planner, uh, any of the items that you have highlighted that you wanted to do today, that will show up. So if you notice all the green check marks to the right hand side, uh, those are events that I want to go to today. My stateroom account uh, tells you uh, how much money you've spent to date on the cruise and uh, what you owe. And then my breakfast order on a uh, normal day, since this is the last day, it's, uh, it's, you can see it says that the online breakfast uh, pre-ordering is no longer available. But uh, this is for your continental breakfast. If you want this delivered to your room, instead of filling out a piece of paper, you can actually fill that out. And so those are all the uh, options under my account. Uh, down at the bottom, again, home shows you some of the highlighted things that are going on. Uh, these are actually, these events are ones that I have highlighted. So whenever you check mark an event, uh, it will show up on your home area so that you can quickly see uh, what you want to go to. I just finished the uh, culinary demonstration and gallery tour. Uh, and then to add to that, you can go to this events tab and you notice these are all web pages, so it's a mobile, it's a mobile app. Uh, it's not an app; it's a mobile web page. So it's a what am I trying to say? It's web pages optimized for mobile. So it kind of acts like an app, but it's still working inside your web browser. All right, and these are the activities to choose from today. Of course, uh, the disembarkation. Normally, everything's in chronological order, but I, I guess they're able to pin something to the top. So that disembarkation. Uh, well, they have it at 12 a.m., so I don't know if he did that last night or if that was supposed to be at noon. I take it back. I don't know uh, if they can pin stuff or not. But um, so these are the items that have, some of these have happened today. Again, it's 11:26. Uh, I did that pickleball thing. I think you probably heard about that. But if uh, if there's something I see that I want to try this afternoon, like say I want to go to the last art auction and buy some art, I can hit the plus button here and it's added to the cruise planner. Uh, and you know, Shark Week, uh, Family Fun Fair, we can add that. Afternoon tea has been great all week. So you just uh, hit the plus on the things that you want to do. I'm going to hit the home tab again and you'll see that those two things that I added. Maybe. Okay. Takes a second. You'll see that the two things that I added there uh, have been added to my uh, main page. So there's that. Uh, the messenger, it, it doesn't work uh, in real time. So basically, uh, so for this purpose, uh, I am Jenny, Jenny is me. And so if I want to send Jenny a message, I can say uh, in the room, recording a video. 
and then hit send and then but these, it doesn't notify you so this is a, a little bit of a challenge you have to, to see if you have a new message you have to go back out and then you have to uh, hit the thing and so it's it's not real time but you have to think about it like oh maybe Jenny sent me a message so uh, you can do that and, um, the next one is the paid internet so this is this is how it works so basically when you hit that internet button it tells you that uh, when you hit confirm you're gonna go on the internet and your internet balance your minutes will be used until you log out so if I say confirm you see that we have 40 minutes left for the rest of the day uh, and now I can like go and use other apps on my phone we can jump into Facebook see what's going on with you guys that kind of thing uh, I'll leave it up just to show you how uh, how long it takes to load. So I'm sitting in my stateroom uh, a little bit, so no notifications have popped up yet. So Facebook's not fully loaded, but I can start to uh, start to see stuff. Yeah, see, like, uh, still not fully loaded. There we go. So now we got some notifications. So that's usually a good indicator that it's all loaded. So that's about the speed of the internet. It's a little slow, uh, and but to get uh, so now I'm I'm clicking off those 40 minutes. Uh, so now I can go back and log out. I'm back to the app, and it tells me I was on from 11:30 to 11:31, and uh, now I'm off the internet. It says return to Princess at Sea. So I'm hitting that. And then the final tab is more. Uh, there's a bunch of different things here. Onboard deals tells you about the sales that are going on during the day. Go back to more. Shore excursions uh, tells you what the price, oh yeah, I forgot. So there are actually uh, some people doing another seven days back to back style. And so if they wanted to uh, do something in Fort Lauderdale, these are the excursions. You can actually say you wanted to take that airboat ride. Uh, you can book your excursions this way. These are the cruise ship excursions, which is kind of nice. Uh, so this, uh, at this time, they don't have the online for this one. You have to go to the excursion desk, but uh, that will show you the excursion. Uh, will show you what excursions are available. So when, uh, before we went to all of our ports, I actually booked our Grand Cayman through the app, which worked really well. Uh, future cruise deposit. Uh, if you want to go ahead and, and get signed up for another uh, Princess Cruise, you can do that here. General info. This is kind of like the wiki for the cruise line. Almost any uh, question that you have, uh, you can push and it will tell you uh, that kind of thing. You know, ice, fruit, outlets, the whole nine. And what else is under more itinerary? We'll show you uh, the itinerary, and you can see we're highlighted that today is the sea day, the last day. So sad. And locations, hours, and more kind of like an interactive map. Uh, so these are all the different, like if we wanted to figure out how to get to Churchill's, uh, it will tell you some information what time it's open, and then you can map it. And they have this interactive map. It's been hit or miss for me. Um, so see, it looks like the page is loaded, but I don't have any map. So I don't know if that's something, some challenge with uh, Safari, but uh, ideally uh, you would have a map that would take you to where you want to go, but uh, it hasn't worked for me in the, during this cruise. And that's it for uh, the, uh, the app or the the mobile uh, enhanced web pages, the the web pages for, it's almost like an app. I, th I think it would be good if they had an app. This has worked uh, okay. Uh, it's not bad. It's, it's fairly responsive uh, and it does give you a lot of good information. I can't see the menus for dinner, uh, which I think would be a nice addition. Uh, if this was an app form, I think it would be easier and I think the messenger uh, needs a little work but for the most part it tells you everything that you need to know and uh, it works pretty good so that is the run through of the Princess Cruise Lines mobile op optimized web pages that they use kind of like their app so I uh, hope that helps uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already 
uh, and come on over to Facebook to the La Lita Loca cruising community. Join the Loca fam. That's where all the fun happens. And uh, again, my name's Tony with La Lita Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.